Hey guys, welcome back to the Black Hills and Eastern Railroad, everybody. Um, I wanted to give you a quick construction update. I am busy the last couple of times I had hobby time down here. I'm putting in tortoise switch machines, and I'm using this uh, drill template, uh, jig or whatever you want to call it, uh, to drill the holes. I've got mount holes on the bottom or the top side, I guess, if you will, of the tortoise machine. And what this does here is you fit this up through the, do the hole that the... Uh, has been drilled for the throw bar and then uh, these four holes here give you the basically the drill template for mounting screws on the four corners of the tortoise machine. I plan to put in electrical connections via this edge connector. I have to find out who made these because I probably want to get some more of these and I'll give you the pin out uh, specification here in a bit. Um, also, I have figured out how I'm going to mount this uh, this panel here. I've got a couple of very small hinges that I'm going to mount on the bottom, and uh, we're, so we're going to get that done here very soon. Anyway, so the tortoise machine I plan on doing this way. So we'll just uh, take the number. There's eight pins on these things, and so pins one and eight will be powered by this panel here. Effectively, what I've got, and I think you, I showed a picture of this on a post here a while back. What I've got is... Uh, uh, DC power coming in from a wall wart um, and then these switches will line out to pins 1 and 8 here on the tortoise machine and then what we'll have is track power input or track bus on uh, pins 2 and 3 and then an output to the turnout frog on pin number 4 here and I'll show you what that means here in a second. So those of you who are not familiar with uh, DCC as it relates to turnouts um, what we have here is, this is an Atlas uh, Code 100 turnout or switch, and right now this, uh, on, on these by default, this little piece, the frog here, is insulated by default. And what we can do is this little piece, a short wheelbase locomotive, may stall over this because it doesn't pick up. This is a, a dead piece of metal right here. What uh, the tortoise machine does is supply power out of that pin number four to the frog. So you do have live power there, but you have the appropriate live power because it can decide for you which which polarity this should be. So obviously you've got a mismatch polarity here if you don't have that right, and you, that would result in a dead short. So uh, the tortoise machine takes care of the, the position of the points for us and the polarity of the frog, or it can take care of the, care of the polarity of the frog. So um, that is my update here for uh, this week and look for a more in-depth update on what I'm doing here with these tortoise machines. I am getting, I'm hoping within the next uh, week or so here to have all the switch machines uh, installed for the Madison subdivision staging area. Then we'll move on to some other places and then hopefully we can get on to uh, bench work and things like that this fall later. So here's where we're going to pull the pin on this particular episode. Hope you enjoyed the content here. If you did, smash that like button, subscribe for more, and hopefully I'll see you in the next one.